Hey, third grade. Mario here. Um, Mr. Santella got a hold of me last night and said that uh, he just wanted a day off. So you're going to do second step with me today. So with that being said, it's Mario time. Hey, third grade. Mario here to do another second step lesson with you. You ready? Let's do it. Empathy. This entire unit is about empathy. Empathy is feeling or understanding what someone else is feeling. And compassion, which we'll talk a lot about today, is empathy in action. All right, let's do a quick review. We started out this unit by looking at identifying others' feelings. We were a feelings detective. We use their body language, their facial expressions, and their words to understand how they're feeling. We also looked at understanding perspective. If you are able to look at some, a situation through someone else's perspective or put yourself in their shoes, you can better understand why they feel what they feel. That helps you have empathy for them. We looked at having conflicting feelings. We learned that everybody has conflicting feelings and it happens a lot and that's okay. You can have conflicting feelings about a scenario. You wanna go see a scary movie, but you're anxious that you might get scared, but you're also excited because you get to see a new movie. Conflicting feelings also help us have empathy. Accepting and appreciating differences. We learned last week that no matter what differences we have with our peers, it's always a good idea to not only accept, but celebrate the differences. It's a great way to build relationships, build friendships, and make the friendships you have even stronger. What we have in common is great, but when we really, really talk about what is different, that's how we get to know people. All right. Today's second step lesson is showing compassion. During this lesson, you will learn that focusing on and listening to others can help you have empathy and show compassion. You can say kind words and or do helpful things to show compassion. After this lesson, you will be able to demonstrate focus attention and listening skills in response to scenarios, You'll be able to identify ways to show compassion for others in response to scenarios. And you will be able to express appreciation for other, another person's concern in response to scenarios. Showing compassion. We have our empathy poster here. And a lot of the speech bubbles on this poster are ways that you can show compassion. So caring about how others feel and showing concern for them is called compassion. And remember, compassion is empathy in action. Here is Cody and Raj. Cody came to school on crutches today. He's telling Raj how he feels about missing the kickball game at recess. I want you to look at Cody. Think about how he feels about missing the kickball game. This is where you need to be that feelings detective. How do you think he feels? Sad, disappointed, upset? Well, how can you tell that? His shoulders are slumped. His mouth is turned down. We call that a frown. And his head is hanging down. So, his body language is really telling us how he feels. Raj is really focusing on Cody and he's listening carefully to what he's saying. He asks Cody questions to find out more. This shows he's listening and he cares. He's giving Cody his full attention. So think back to some skills that we learned way, way, way back when we first started Second Step this, this year. What skills for learning are helping Raj listen to Cody? Oh, there's a hint. Do you remember what that is? Right, he's focusing his attention on Cody. 
So he's concentrating on what Cody is saying. He's also concentrating on Cody's body language. He's using his eyes, his ears, and his brain to focus, and he's ignoring distractions. There's one other skill that he's using that we learned about earlier in the year. Ah, there's a hint. You're right, listening. So he's focused on the speaker. He's waiting his turn to speak. And he's really remembering what he hears, what Cody is telling him. And he's also thinking of questions to ask Cody to help better understand how Cody is feeling. As Raj listens to Cody, he notices face and body clues that help him understand how Cody feels. Again, he's really focusing his attention on that. He can also understand Cody's point of view, so that perspective, since they've been playing kickball at recess for weeks. So Raj understands what Cody feels. That's empathy, right? Oh, I gave it away. This is called empathy. Focusing attention and listening to Cody have helped Raj have empathy. So now Raj wants to do something to show his concern, right? He wants to have compassion for Cody. So think about what Raj can say or do to show his concern, to show compassion to Cody. There we go. He can say some kind things. He can invite him to watch kickball. He can stay inside with him. He can ask him to play something that Cody can actually do. Here's what Raj does. Raj asks, asks himself what he can do to help Cody feel better about missing kickball. He decides to ask the teacher if he can stay inside and play games with Cody. The teacher agrees and Raj tells Cody. So he's sacrificing his kickball time to make his friend Cody feel better. That's an amazing way to show Cody compassion. Sacrificing something you enjoy, kickball, to help your, help your friend feel better. What an amazing friend Raj is being right now, showing him that compassion and empathy. So remember, showing compassion is caring about how others feel and showing concern. And when you show compassion, you also are showing empathy. Here's a question for you. How do you think Cody feels about Raj staying inside with him? So for this, you're gonna to have to make an inference. We can't tell from the picture how Cody feels about Raj showing compassion for him. But an inference is taking information we already know either from something we've learned or that we've experienced and saying what we think will happen. So what do you infer Cody feels about Raj staying inside with him? Yeah, he probably feels happy, excited. He feels important. What could Cody say to Raj to show he appreciates it? Again, you're gonna make an inference. Well, Cody could say, thank you. He could say, I appreciate you taking time to hang out with me when I know how much you enjoy playing kickball. So Cody is showing his appreciation for Raj showing him compassion. So Cody thanks Raj. They enjoy playing games together at recess and Cody has so much fun, he almost forgets he hurt his leg. All right, so what I want you to do now is think about these scenarios and how you could show compassion and empathy for someone that fell off the jungle gym. How could you show compassion and empathy for someone that is being teased on the bus? How could you show compassion and empathy for someone that lost their new backpack? How could you show compassion and empathy for someone that is having a hard time with a math problem? And last, how could you show compassion and empathy for someone that dropped their homework all over the hallway? All right, 
So today you learned that focusing attention and listening to others can help you have empathy and show compassion. You can say kind words and do helpful things to show compassion. So now you're able to demonstrate how focusing your attention and listening can help you have compassion. You're able to identify ways to show compassion for others in response to something that's happened. So in this example, Cody had hurt his leg. And you're able to express appreciation for others who show compassion. Cody thanked Raj for hanging out with him, for showing compassion. All right, scholars, we're gonna end this lesson with the empathy song. Enjoy. Your feelings mean so much to you But you know that you're not alone There's other folks with feelings too So when you get together Try to understand how they might feel Cause they might have their own ideas With feelings that are just as real Oh, empathy Means feeling what others feel You felt it too third grade. Thanks for letting Mario hang out with you today. I got to go find my brother. He's running around jumping on turtles. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.